that's such a big part of that. And we think of these rotations so far. I'm so confused. Yeah, craziness. Three games in a row, you just get pummeled out of the jump ball for like seven straight minutes on defense. I guess what I see that Brad likes about the two bigs is they do kind of stick with it offensively. Like they're trading buckets back and forth and staying there. They didn't do that tonight. So he gets away from it. But you see them get into better lineups throughout the flow of the game, especially into these second quarters where Pritchard teams up with Tatum and they can kind of trade off the ball time there. Uh, you surround them with some shooters like Semi and uh, Grant sometimes. Like They have good combinations on this team, and I'm trying to think of reasons why they would do double big period. I mean, they keep talking about it has defensive potential. We're seeing 130 points upwards of per 100 possessions with this group. They're the worst starting lineup in the league. So I think they're going to throw this out now. Oh, we scrapped it. All that stuff. So, yeah. but, but this finally have- happened. It's the first time it happened. He kept coming back to it, not, not only every game, but every half. Every okay. half, yeah. And this is the first time, I believe, that he has not come out with the starting lineup in the second half. So then half. what is it? So what's the starting lineup? Well, he put I, – look, I mean, here's where you're stuck. You know, you had people who've said semi, who've said Grant. Who, I, I, I personally favored – We know the, how you uh, feel about both those guys. No, but I favor the Pritchard Smart lineup, Pritchard Smart Jalen three guard lineup with Tatum at the four. That's I what agree. I do. And you, you know what? You should put you Robert. No scoring off your bench. You have no scoring yeah. off your bench. Congrats. Yeah. Plus, plus Teague is out. You don't that's know. That's a fair point. That's a fair point. Well, it, it is, and that's a problem. But the the thing is, then the other thing is, so then you're stuck with you got to make the decision between Semi and Grant because what you're saying is Tice is fine and I like him, but I. I'd rather kick the, the, here's the problem too. If you kick Tice to the second unit, you're taking away Rob's minutes. They really have a problem here because that's what happened in the third quarter. They started semi. They're better off with semi or grant in there instead of the double big. I think for sure, though, those guys are flawed. There's better. So it's a, it's a better lineup. No question about it. But then when you kick Daniel to the second lineup, you're going to create a double big situation there where you're going to have problems and no spacing. It and, all goes back to Hayward again. <laughs> and and yeah. what do you do there? You know, and, yeah. and that's where you're a little bit, that's where you're stuck in that situation. It's not ideal. I mean, with Shemi, it's not ideal because you're not quite sure what you're going to get night after night. You know, you're going to have to live with some of those nights where he's just not feeling it and hoping that defensively he doesn't rack up three fouls. But then you turn around and say the same thing about Grant. So it's really hard, I think, for for Stevens to sort of trust one of those guys. But I'm with you, John. I think he has to at this point. I think the two big lineups is this should be it for that. You know, I mean, we've been saying that for the last couple of games now. But after the first half and what we saw, how the Celtics turned things around and how he, you know, to your point, started the second half for the first time differently. I mean, that's I think that speaks volumes. And so does the second unit and the way they they showed out uh, in this game, the, the best performance of the season for sure. Yeah, then, so like, Jimmy, Jimmy's got a point there. You need to spread out good lineups throughout the course of the game, and that's the answer to why they've started double big. They know that some of these second unit minutes with Tatum, uh, Brown leading them sometimes, are doing well. So you space out good lineups throughout the flow of the game. I think ultimately, though, if you're talking about your best five, who's the best combination that complement Tatum? It's Tatum, Brown, Pritchard, Smart, and Rob. And I still want Rob playing off of Tatum in the most important moments here. Now, we'll get to Thompson in a little right. bit and where he's at, but it's tough. It really is. But luckily, they have options. They have options here. They have good options. Javante Green's coming back after this road trip ends. You can do more three wings. They have a lot more combination. Well, I know you're not excited, but I want to see. Are these good options, see Bobby? Well, bo- well, Bobby, that lineup you just you just ripped off, ripped off there. That's a great lineup if you want to close the game. I mean, I'm fine with yeah. that. Player, player, best guys, and maybe we're maybe we're looking to in the starting lineups because it's, we we really should be focusing about the the best five guys that play together down the stretch. I mean, it didn't mm-hmm. matter tonight because it was they blew the doors off them. But you don't want to go down big every game because you're starting the wrong guy. Right, but it's not even it's not even the where you're playing the guys. You're looking at the guys who played the most minutes, and tonight it was Jalen, Jason, uh, Semi, Pritchard. And then, was, yeah. and then it was actually Grant. And it's hard to argue that those weren't your five best players. Right? Well, yeah. Those are your five I mean, best players tonight were Tatum Brown, Pritchard, Pritchard, Grant Williams, Semi Ojale, and they played the most minutes. So you're right. At the end of the day, they did lean on the players that were playing best for them. Tristan was 20. Tice was in the teens, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Tice was 13. He had- Tice was Rob 14. Was tonight, Tristan was 20. Yeah, Rob was good tonight too. I mean, my God, 
That center thing. Rob was phenomenal, but he sat the whole third quarter. That was the problem. When you do, when you go away from double big, Williams didn't play the whole third quarter. He comes in the fourth quarter. He got 12 rebounds in the fourth quarter. Yeah. yeah. This, this, oh, was resting. this big man conversation changes every night, and that's why we he say finished it's finished 15 match. boards. He had 12 in the fourth quarter. He was yeah. a monster. He came in immediately. was like, boom, boom, boom. He was everywhere, you know? the the Tyson Thompson combined for two – freaking points in this game. I think I think right now two points and 10 rebounds in 34 minutes Williams goes for 11 and 15 right yeah we've I mean, talked about Tyson's spot on the roster it's it's in flex for sure yeah, yeah it is I was gonna say I mean we, we, we're, ta- the, the, we're talking about the centers right now it's because of the inconsistencies we're getting at that position right through the Celtics are getting because you look at Grant I mean he goes from a, basically you know a DNP guy to all of a sudden he played, you know, the entire third quarter. Obviously, Jason Tatum had a huge part in that, you know, that huge run by the Celtics there. But, I mean, he's in there the whole time. Grant is. So, I mean, obviously, he's being trusted to contribute in that situation. So, you don't really know what to expect with some of these guys. I mean, Tyson's obviously had a very slow start to the season. Grant's had an even slower start. We've liked what we've seen from Rob, but he's getting inconsistent minutes. And Thompson's, like, sort of feeling his way around on this new team started injured to start the year and working his way back. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, I know you guys are, are big Rob guys. I am too, but it's, it's almost like you don't know what to expect on any given night from the, from the five spot, even from the four spot, I guess, to an extent. Yeah. And if there's um, no so- double big, there's no time for four centers. So you do have a tricky situation there, it but tricky. we're thinking this to some degree, it's all about where you're getting Tatum and where you're maximizing his minutes on a night like tonight, where you get that 21 from him in the second, with that lineup with Pritchard alongside him, like that's all you need to seal a game. Right. Like that big yeah, and, stretch. and again, you got to talk about it. I mean, you had that, you had the second quarter run 30, 38 to 14. What happened in that quarter? Jason Tatum, of course happened. Okay. Everything else falls off of that, but Nothing Tatum scores 40 <laughs> scores 26 in the first half, 21 in that second quarter. That was basically 13 free throws. Most of those came early as well. So that was ridiculous. He was just, Heading and heading towards the basket and getting the calls. But off of that, Grant Williams played the entire second quarter, 12 minutes, finished a plus 24 in that second quarter. You saw a lot more Pritchard in there. Um, you didn't see the double bigs come back out. Uh, it was again the a lot of those a lot of the players that were playing better and who played the most minutes were all in that action in that second quarter, and that's where they put the game away. That was yeah, Grant, and, that was Semi, that was Pritchard, that was Jason, that was Jalen. That's, you know, right, right. that was that. And those are going to be the guys that you're going to find yourself talking about. That's where Rob Semi. got his first minutes. Yeah. Semi's one of those guys now? <laughs> Se- I mean, listen. He's, listen, he's the way up for the ball, three. Yeah, Joe Sway, you, awesome. you, you can take this one on Shemi. I know you're big on him. No, I mean, when he's hitting those threes, it's just he's, he's a different – he just adds a different dynamic to the to the floor. But I, I think obviously what he does defensively is what's going to get him in the starting lineup maybe potentially. We never know. But, yeah, I mean, this offense from Shemi, he's been off a couple of games, but for the most part, it's there. I mean, it doesn't look pretty at times. He's due for a turnover here and there. But for the most part, I think you have to be not, not maybe not confident, but maybe at least optimistic with his, his outlook for the rest of the season. I mean, he's been here for a while, right? This isn't his first or second year. This is too many minutes for Semi. I think you you got to hope you – 29? I think yeah. Semi, Semi expired at about the 22-minute mark, okay? Like, that's a that was about it. The, the, yeah, the last seven yeah. minutes were more of the Semi you're used to seeing. That was – you got your best out of him. You can't be playing him 29 minutes a game. No, you can't, and I don't think typically they would. But, I mean, if he can – if he can do a classic 3 and D guy and give you 20 – low 20 minutes where he's playing solid defense, you have to honor him at the three-point line, and recently you definitely have to. I mean, we've we've seen him go through stretches where he can't hit the broad side of a barn, but the last few games, I mean, that shot's looking nice. I mean, the release is there. He's, you know, he's doing exactly what he needs to do uh, to stay on the court. So uh, I'm fine with I'm fine with him getting 20 plus minutes right now. I mean, especially when you've got guy like I don't know what Marcus Smart's if it's a long-term thing. Hopefully not. Doesn't sound like it, but. I mean, if you need guys to step up in, in Smart's absence and obviously with Kemba out, that's exactly the type of production you're looking for. Yeah. But well, you, don't have, you don't have the Javante option right now, so it's, it's tough.